got Mr. Henderson here and he wants to talk to you. Hello. Let me close up my computer here real quick. You know, I've been obviously watching some yes. of it and listening to what you've been yes. saying. And You know, we, we talk to a lot of people all the time. Yes. I mean, that's pretty much our job. Is talking yes. to people. Some people, it takes a while to come around to just getting it out there and seeing what really happens in this situation. And, you know, we're, I feel like we really put in the extra effort in here and give you every opportunity to help yourself out in this situation. But as I was telling him, uh, I'm trying to be truthful. I don't want to say that he attacked me and I shot him. I don't want to do that. Yeah, we don't want you to lie about it. Well, that's that's the thing. So there, I don't think anybody, nobody disputes the fact that he shot him. We don't. Well, I that's, don't. That's a okay. That's not even a, a, a point. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, yes. Not even a point to discuss okay. anymore. It's, it's I, the, the point, as he points it out, is how did the body get there? Yeah. And I don't know. I you don't know, I, I talk to a lot of people. Yes. Um, I talk to Stephanie. I yes. talk to Eric. Yes. I talk to Brady. We talked to Brady some more today. Yes. And, uh, and just listening to you talk throughout the day, your pigs, they sound like mild-mannered pigs. They are. They sound like pigs that wouldn't do anything to anybody. They will not. Stephanie said your pigs are sweet, that they're friendly, that they, she... They are. She feeds them, or she's, I think she said she did the vaccinations or something, or something she, like that. She, um, some time ago, she helped castrate a couple of uh, little babies. All right. Um, well, she's not afraid to be around them. No. And I am not either. I, I, I had a pig that weighed 940 pounds. Yeah. It would barely fit through this door. It was right. this tall. Yeah. And I was not afraid of it at all. Yeah. It could very easily, if it had wanted to, kill me and eat me probably within, you know, a day. He could probably eat me by himself. Pigs, uh, um, Pigs are like dogs. If you put a bunch of food out for a dog, it will eat all the food. If you put a bunch of food out for a cat, when the cat is full, sure. it quits. Yeah. If you put out a bunch of food for a pig, it will eat it until it can't eat anymore. One day, the 940-pound pig that I told you about, it drank four gallons of milk as fast as as I could pour it out of the jug with losing very little of it. It just, uh, gunk, 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 gunk. it drank four gallons of milk. Yeah, they, they don't know. They're pigs. Yes. They, they just, it's instinct, right? Yes, yes. But we as people know that food for pigs is not a person. Right. And You know that. Right, I know that. I'm... But you know that pigs will eat anything if you give them the opportunity. Opportunity, yes. Right. And so, how did Robert give them an opportunity? For I him don't to know. Be in there? I do not know. I do not okay. know. And you, in all the time that Robert had been there, did he ever feed the pigs? To my knowledge, no. Did he ever go out and in the pen that you? To know? my knowledge, no. So you can see how when we. Let's know what you're saying. I know that, that he, it, I know it, out, I, I know it, this is I know it doesn't it, make sense. It doesn't that. make sense to me. And so when you come out and you see your pigs eating Robert, and he's still alive. Yes. For us to hear that, it's not even possible. And no one in this, no one here is outside this office, people out there, no one's, no one would believe that. If you take anybody and you put them in a pig pen, even if they've been around pigs, they're going to know that if I start getting attacked by a pig or something, I'm going to try to get out of here. Yes. 
I'm not going to lay down on the ground and let pigs just eat my stomach right. until I can't move and then have someone come shoot me in the head. You remember earlier it, when we got I, to this point it, where... It, it does not make sense okay, to me. Okay, remember earlier so when we got I, to this it, point where... It does hang not on, make let me, sense let me finish. To me. I can see why it does not make any sense to you. I know that. You, so let me finish what I have to say. It happened. Let me finish what I have to say. So you earlier, for whatever reason, you decided at some point in time today when we were talking to you, I have to tell the truth. Yes. It took a while to get there. Yes. It did. Yes. That's okay. Because all of us face that sometimes. You know, when we're kids, sometimes it takes kids to get around to that yes. point. And eventually they'll say, well, yeah, you know, Mom, I did a little bit, yes. you know. And that's kind of what you're doing here. It's like the, the, the little kid that comes to their parent and the parent says, well, did you do this? No, I, I didn't hit my, my sister because they're worried about the consequences. They're worried about the way they're going to be labeled and looked at. Yes. But then if a parent says, well, I know you don't want to get in trouble, but did, did you maybe just do it a little bit? And the kid says, yeah, maybe just a little bit. And then they start realizing that they're, well, they're that, doing the right thing. Yes. That's where you're at. And I'm not saying you're a little kid. I'm saying that you're saying, yeah, I, I did have something to do with Robert's death. I did. But see, and so we're not getting the whole picture of what happened. I, uh, and this is your opportunity. I, 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 this I, is for you. I, I realize that. And I do realize it's for me. But I cannot... I can just not... I cannot justify to myself telling you that he attacked me and I, I shot him. That. I understand I can't, that. I can't do that. I don't want you to make something up. Well, that's... I don't. That's... That, it doesn't make sense to me, and I can understand... From, I don't want you to make I, something up, but I, I don't I, want you to leave something out. I... 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 Like I say, it doesn't make sense to me how he got there. And I can see how... Me not knowing is making you not knowing even more. I just know, like, my own personal feeling, having talked to hundreds of people, that you're not telling us everything. I, this is, and, and I, would, I, I, I would bet everything on that. Yes. Because that's how I feel. Because I feel like this is what, what we saw earlier with you, is that, you know, you, you started to become... A little bit, you, you started to maybe think about things and thought, you know, well, yeah, you know, that we, you didn't know maybe that we knew about the Oregon Trail card and, and things like that. But, and, and I'm not, I haven't been trying to come down on you hard and well, say, well, you're, you're goes, a bad if, person if, and everything. If, if, if there were money on that card right now, it would be, well, you I understand. Have my, we, it would have been in my pocket. I understand that. But you, but you slowly came to a point today where you thought, this happened. I saw it. You started to cry, and you started to think about things, and realized that maybe for you, it wasn't worth it to not tell us that you did shoot him. You know what I mean? And it was the right thing to do. Yes. And I don't know you as a person other than the short time we've had, but I saw something in you at that point that you know we can all respect, that you as a person... Were feeling for what happened. I did. I did. And I would like to see you come to that point again where you can say, you know what? I want to tell everything that happened. I'm, I'm trying to, and like I, like I said, I do not know how we got in the pen. It, it, it doesn't. Susan, get right if, there. If, if, I, I can tell if, that you are. I feel like you. I feel like this whole time watching you, everyone that's talked to you, I feel like that you want to tell us, that you want us want to tell us the truth about what happened, and I don't even care what it is. I can accept it. We're here to accept it. Say okay, you know, let's put the pieces. Let's work together. Let's put the pieces of the puzzle together. Whatever it is. Uh, but. But it doesn't make sense to me, so I don't know how I can make sense to you. But that's okay if it doesn't make sense, if it's the truth. Even if it's if it sounds weird or, or whatever, that's okay. As long as it's the truth, and it's it's what you're deciding right now that you 
you finally want to do. You know, the whole, you, you've heard the whole truth. I want you to, I want you to think about earlier when you, you came to that point. I don't know what it was, was with you, but um, you came to that point where you thought, you know what, um, I'm going to tell them. You made it, that decision to do that. Yes. And I feel like you're just right there on doing the right thing with the rest of it. We're just waiting on you. We're waiting for you to make that little step. It's just one tiny step away for you to make things right here. That's what this whole thing is about. It's an opportunity for you to make things right. Whatever happened, whatever it was, I, I, we can accept that. But I cannot understand how we got in there myself. And I can't, I can't think of any reason why anyone would go into a pig pen. And um, if, if, he, if he had gone down there and found some rotten food, why did he not just throw it over the fence? Um, okay. If there was no I, I, there was no rotten food, we can sit here all day long and come up with things. Like I said, I've been listening all day to what you had to yes. say, and I'm intrigued with what you have to say. Well, there wouldn't be any rotten food because what, what, whatever. And what you have to say is important. It's very important. Yes. But for you to talk about the same things over again and, and saying that that's that's not what we're still here for. We're still here because you're. You're right there in wanting to do the right thing here. You already took a, that, that step in yes. the right direction. Yes. I want to see you continue that. You know, we're at a point here where, you know, we have this uh, this story of maybe he just, I mean, who knows how he got there. Well, that's it. That's and that's it. the, that's the know, thing. Is that, that's that's that was, not true. That, that, was, that was what Chris, right? Chris, that was what Chris mentioned. And I can look you right in the eye and say, I don't know or have any idea why he would be in the pen. I do not remember at any time him trying to feed my pigs. I do not remember at any time him going out into the pig pen. I see my pigs for 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes in the afternoon. And basically, that's it. I go out there, I give them some food, I rub the back of their head, I say hi, and... Uh, they're your friends. They're, they're, my, they're my friends. They're your family. Yes. Like we talked earlier, I have a couple of dogs. They're yes. not pigs, but you yes. said pigs are kind of similar to dogs in yes. a little way. But my dogs are my family. Yeah. I take them everywhere. They go in the car with me, we take them on trips, we don't leave them at boarding places or yeah. anything. We take them with us because... They've always been around. Sometimes they sleep in our bed. I'm sure you would have a pig I, sleep with you, but they're I'm, too big. They're, they're, they're too big. But uh, the point I, is, I, I had a family. I, I had I had a friend that had a little pig that, and she did. She had a had it in the bed for a while, and then uh, she put a sleeping bag out in the garage, and the pig would climb in the sleeping bag at night. But what I'm worried my, and a big concern I have is the pigs right now. Because I do hope that they are. You're, they're, they're, they're being taken okay. care of. They are. And because we care about animals here at the sheriff's office, yes. obviously, we, you know, we on a regular basis, we'll find a wild animal and, or a loose animal. And if we can't find one, we take it somewhere to a nice home. And, and with I, pigs, I, I, I'm worried that they're and, being painted in the wrong yes. light here, that they've gone from this, like, gentle creatures that is, of that, where you can go in the pen. That and is... Can, that is why. That is why. Man eating that animals. That is why I did not say anything at the very beginning. I did not want my animals destroyed. Well, we're not talking about destroying your animals. I, uh, at at this point, I realize that I don't think you are going to. Well, it's like a like but, a dog. When a dog bites somebody, what do you think happens with the dog? I mean, if a dog is considered to be dangerous... Well, well that little bitty dog bit you. Or yeah, it was him. Deputy Adams, yeah. Okay. The Deputy Adams. Okay, that little dog... Yeah. There, there is a difference between little dogs 
and big dogs. Sure. Little dogs, when you walk away, they will bite you in the ankle. That's what it did. And typically with a dog, or what can happen sometimes is, in, you know, in Jackson County, is dogs that bite someone, you know, maybe cause a, some sort of injury, you know, usually the dog will be taken and put in a quarantine, there's a hearing, you know, the owner can go there and say, you know, this is the reason why, you know, the dog's not dangerous, you know, this and that. Some dogs, you know, can be put down if they bite a person and they're considered dangerous, like they can't be out and about. Well, my pigs were eating somebody, for God's sakes, you know, and... What if it's not the pig's fault? What if he was put there? What if you put him there? Then the pigs, you know, they're not, I if did, it's not their fault, they're animals. I did not put him there, nor do I know of anyone, to my knowledge, that did put him there, nor do I know any reason why he would have gone in there by himself. It doesn't make sense to me, and I can understand how it doesn't make any sense to you, because... Sure. You know, um, I... How do we look at the pigs in this light, though, what's happened? I mean, the pigs before would never attack somebody, and now all of a sudden we have where it looks like, from what you're saying, that you walk up and the pigs are devouring a human. Yes. How are we supposed to look at that? And, and, and while in the process of them devouring, to use your word, Roberts, I went up next to them and, and beat them to get away. That's what I did originally. Mm -hmm. I went up to a pig that is 400 pounds and I beat it with the back of my hand like that. Get away! Get away! And I could not do it. I could not get them to move. So I went up, and like I said, he was... As I thought about it more, I don't really know if he was moving his arm or... And he if, was moaning, you said. Yeah. He was moaning. Yeah. He was moaning. I do not know if he was actually moving his arm, mm -hmm. or if the pigs moving him was moving I, I his arm. I think we get the point here. The pigs were but eating he, Robert, he, he, he went and got a gun, and he shot he, him in the he head. Was, he, said. he was moaning. Okay? That's the best description of his vocal reverberation. He, he was moaning. Uh, I went up. I got my rifle, it came down. I do not know how many times I shot him. I am very confident that it would okay, be... Okay, I, I've, I've heard Gary okay, say this, okay? I'm very I'm not, confident I, that I, I shot move him on, because, on the left side of the Okay, I, I've heard you say this, and I think that at this point, you know, tomorrow, when, you know, obviously it's getting late, it's a little dark out, so with... Um, not having all the lighting and everything and being able to see everything on the property. Tomorrow what's going to happen, all right, they're setting up a huge command post. Oh, you know, it's God. probably already yes. there. Oh, yes. We've got um, every law enforcement agency almost yes. in the valley working on this. Yes. Every square inch of your property is going to be searched. Okay. All the specialists from around here and other places are going to be working on this case. Yes. The forensics that are going to be going to be done are going to be uh, including any rounds that they find that have been fired. You know, your gun, um, his bones, the the ground. You know, we might collect dirt. I don't know. I mean, we could collect all kinds of things. Well, we might find human tissue on the pigs. I don't know. Well, I, I, is it possible I, I, we're going to find human tissue on the pigs still? Sure, unless you washed them. No, I did not wash them, but it's been raining. It's been um, over a month. I understand and that, but you'd be surprised what um, stays around. Uh, you might, you might find. Uh, I can't see anything on the pigs. So when they, you when might we get through all this, you, and they're you, looking at all this evidence okay, from saying, what you've told I'm, I'm us, saying, uh, I'm trying to. If say, it doesn't add up, I, I, we're going to be. I'm trying to say it's. 
I do not want my pigs harmed in any way, if possible. I understand that. But the only, the only possibility I can would, the only possibility I could conceive of if there might be a piece of something stuck in their tooth. Yeah, sure. But I don't want. Maybe there's something in their digestive system. I don't know enough about pigs to know well, that. Well, there won't there won't be anything in the digestive okay, system. Okay, well, uh, there's certainly going to be something inside the mud area. Yes, there, for yes, sure. Yes. Yes. And so when we go through there. You know, of course, we're going to take samples of everything, do DNA testing. You know, yes. the Oregon State Police Crime does all this testing. Yes. And, you know, if we get to this point, and then all of a sudden you have DNA of other people showing up yes. besides Robert, right? what are we supposed to do when we've given you this opportunity to tell us everything? And you're this close, and you want to do the right thing. And like earlier, when you came to that point, and you said to yourself, you must have, I'm going to tell them. And you just did it. And I don't know why, but you're you're right there. And it, and all of us are saying, you know, wow, she's that she really wants to tell us, and she's so close to telling us the truth about everything, but she's holding back for some reason. And that you held back before for a, a while. Don't do the same thing now. Don't do it. It's it's eating you up. I don't know if your hair loss and things like that, and I'm not picking on you, but when stress comes and everything, and you have to deal with all this, because this is heavy stuff. Even if even if, even the hardest people who don't show a lot of emotion or like to be on their own or you know be out in the quiet, this is difficult for them to go through. This has to have been hard on you. It it is. And when you get to that point where you can say, you know what, I don't want to. Here, here it is. I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to get this off of me, just like you did earlier. When you said the when you said the truth, and we said, oh, okay, that makes sense. We're going to find evidence to support that. Are we going to find evidence to support that there's other people out there? You know, are we going to find DNA of other people in the in the the ground there where the pigs are? I mean, you can't scoop up all the dirt and get rid of it. I mean, they're going to take samples from all that 150 feet out there, and then what? You know what I mean? So that's why it's important for you to come to that point now. Don't wait. Don't wait like you did for the time where we met. You know, we, I, you and I felt like at least we hit it off and now we could talk to each other, and you showed me around your place. Yes. And, um, and, and you lied to me, and that's okay, but I understand why. Perfectly understandable reason why you lied to me. And you showed me around. Yes. Told me some things about Robert, you know, that weren't true, and some that were. I, and then we got to that point. I don't know what it's... Well, I, well I, let me finish. So you, you told me some things that were true and some things that weren't. But then finally today, un, we get to it. Today yeah, you say, un, until, okay, until, yeah, I un, did, until, I shot him. Right, until... Until the time when I did shoot him, everything I said was the truth. And like right. I, I have no idea how he got there. Um, I, um, I have joked, and it is a joke. You know, um, Nobody jokes joke. like that. Nobody. <sighs> no one jokes like that. I've never come across a person who joke like that. And when people joke that way, it's either because there's something that's happened and they want to make light of it. Not not to joke around about it, but it's a release of stress. It's true. You can joke about things that have happened. We do it in law enforcement when we see bad things all the time. Yeah. Sometimes we joke about things because we don't know how to deal with it. Yeah. That's the truth. I've done that. So maybe you're referencing, I don't know, is a part of that. But... You have to, for yourself, come to that point where you're ready to do this. You know, where you're ready to say, okay, here's the truth. Here's all of it. Here, do what you're going to do with it. You know, it doesn't matter one way or the other at this point. We're at a point now where, you know, we've, we're putting a piece of the, the puzzle together and, and you're going to get left behind. And we can't have that. We want you to be the person to say, the truth, you to be the person to come out and make things right. Only you can do that. No one else has the power here to make things right except for you. You did it with Robert. Finally, 
You did, yes. and I'm giving you credit for that. Yes. You did the right thing. Now, how can we do the right thing the rest of the way by you telling the truth about what happened with everything? And I'm not just talking about you know, little small details here and there. I'm talking about not leaving anything out. And if you're ready to do that, I'm here to listen to you. I'll listen to what you have to say. do this without you do it the way that you need to I'm here to listen and I'm just going to listen to what you have to say right now okay this is more stuff that doesn't make any sense that's okay uh, it just doesn't make any sense say this without I don't know how to say this without it making sense because it doesn't make any sense that's okay I'm waiting to hear what you have to say I want to hear what you have to say All you can do is tell me, Susan. I'm here to listen to you. It doesn't make sense. Just like Robert, it doesn't make sense. I have told you everything truthfully about Robert. I don't know how his body got out there to start with. I don't. There is something else that I don't want to say that's, that's just as bad. All you can do is tell me. But I'm it, here it, to listen. But it, it doesn't make sense. That's the thing. Okay. I'm just going to listen. You tell me. Give me another piece of paper. This this doesn't make any sense. about three feet down. There's part of another body. Okay. His name is Steve. Um, Steve, um, Uh, 
There's a town named Steve. D. Okay. How old is he? Um. Uh, I think he was a couple years older than me. What do you? What's the structure you're talking about here? Oh, the. Um, this is the barn, and then this is the area. This is the fence. He's on the other side of the fence. Right on the other side of the right, fence. Right on the other side of the fence, about there. Okay. What's and the part of the body? Uh, uh, there was the skull and um, a couple other things I don't remember. Okay. Uh, we did get into a fight. He went in. Um, uh, I had several guns, one of which was a little bitty five-shot revolver. Mm -hmm. uh, in my in my room, I had a a thirty-odd six with a scope on it. Um, it, I, I shot it three times, I think, mm -hmm. up at a quarry, and it shot way off. Mm -hmm. And I never tried to shoot to, to. I never tried to line it up, whatever you call it. Uh, um, Steve was a thief. He stole um, a lot of things from people. He, he lived about five miles up the road from me. He knew all the houses around, when people were there, when people weren't, mm -hmm. and he was not a um, uh, um, a um, He did not. He did steal all the time, yeah. just for the hell of it. He was an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. uh, he stole from the um, the people that he was staying with, mm -hmm. and her name was I can't think of that either. Anyway, she lives at the last driveway um, on the off the pavement. Okay. Last, last driveway off the pavement if you go up yep. Pleasant Street. Mm -hmm. She lives up there. Um, she caught him several times going through her purse. Mm -hmm. Her husband died um, several years ago. And um, uh, he would buy him beer. Mm -hmm. She would not buy him she would, any kind of beer at all. Mm -hmm. Uh so he would go through her purse. Uh, he would go through the house. At one point, I remember him stealing some silver dollars, mm -hmm. which were worth, you know, two or three dollars. And he took them down to the store just to buy beer. Oh, he, um, he, uh, um, um, she had a, a wood splitter mm -hmm. that was worth. You know, five hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. He stole it, sold it to somebody mm -hmm. for a couple of dollars to buy beer. He was he, he wasn't a thief, trying to make a whole lot of money. You know, right. any, anything like that. He just needed some beer. He, what is with he these guys and their beer. I don't know. He, he would he would come over to my place. He was a very good worker. Yeah. I'd buy him a half a case of beer. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, regular beer. Mm. Brady drinks that high alcohol Concept. stuff, you know, and and he can just down one of those in a matter of um, me. If 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 I'm drive, if I buy him a beer at the Weimar Market and drive into town, halfway to town it's gone, and he's yeah. and he's he wants another one. Steve was not. Did, D'Angelo, 
son. Uh, How old was he, did you say? I'm sorry. He, he, was, he was a few years older than me, I think. Okay. Uh, he never really stayed on my property. He was, uh, um, he, he was very uh, meticulous. Uh, he was very gentleman, gentlemanly. He'd open the door for me. Uh, he, uh, uh, he, on a couple of occasions, um, would just walk away because he, he was not doing what I expected of him. One I'm time, sorry, were you guys a couple then? No. Okay. No, he, he, he would take his bicycle and he would ride the five miles or four miles, whatever mm-hmm. it is. I guess, anyway, he, he, would, he would ride and walk his bicycle from mm-hmm. up there at uh, Beverly's. Beverly, uh, Beverly was her first name. Mm-hmm. He would, he would ride his bicycle down to the Weimar Market to buy beer. He would take his bicycle and he would ride it over to my place and work. I would buy him a half a case of beer mm-hmm. and he would work. He would drink a little beer. He would work <coughs> and drink a little beer. And he worked all day for half a case of beer. Oh. And that's, that's all he wanted. Yeah. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't, you know, give me $30 so I can buy beer. Right. It was just... Buy me, buy me some beer, and, and he worked. He was a, a, a very good worker. Um, he uh, he would not take criticism at all. I I say this in my stupid sense of humor that if I gave him a pair of scissors and go, said go cut the lawn, he would do it. He, he was that type of person. I gave him a rate. And one of the reasons that my property looks as good as it does is because of him. Because he came down and spent hundreds of hours simply raking leaves. And he would be upset if he missed a leaf. He would be upset. He, he, he would load up the wheelbarrow three times what the wheelbarrow would hold. Yeah. And then he would go 20 feet and the wheelbarrow would fall over and he'd make a mess and you know he was upset at himself because um, he didn't do it right, right. or whatever, however yeah. you want to put it like that yeah. uh, I had asked him one day to help me move something in the barn he would not allow me to help him mm-hmm. and he very nearly broke both legs. Very, very nearly broke both legs. Because he couldn't do it. And he fell. And this piece of steel fell on him. Uh, On one occasion, we were uh, uh, Menthorn, I think it is. Mm -hmm. We we were, I think it's Menthorn where that uh, um, well, he doesn't have the parts store, but now, but he has the um, tow service. I know Mintorn. Okay, I, I think I think that's the street. We were we were over there. I had my truck and the trailer, and we were getting hay mm-hmm. at the uh, uh, yard right next to that. Uh, we had a couple rows of hay on the trailer, and I got on the tongue of the. Um, trailer and I wanted to put some more another row of hay on there and th- there was no problem with the trailer holding sure. the weight I wanted to put some more hay on there I told him to hand me the bale and I would put it up on top he would not allow me to do it that was you know that was his um, thing because I was a woman Okay, he did not want me to do that kind of thing. And he could not do it. He tried to get it up there, the next row, and he, he fell backwards with the bale of hay. And he walked from Menthorn all the way home. He would, not, he would not let me help him in any way. He would not 
let me take him home. He got so upset at his own failure that he walked you know, yeah, miles. Seven, 10, eight, ten yeah. miles, whatever. Yeah. He walked all the way home. Yeah. And now that, that was Steve. He, uh, uh, he, um, uh, he just could not allow me to do any of the work. And you're capable. And, yes, I'm, I'm capable. You're self-sufficient. I'm capable of most things. I'm, um, I've got fairly good upper body strength. And anyway, that's that's the way he was. Mm -hmm. um, I I saw him on a couple occasions. Got, you know, plastered. Yeah. And he came down to my place, and I confronted him on the, the guns that were missing. Okay? And he did get physical with me. Yeah, I did he do. I did not I did not think he would do that. Yeah. He got physical with me and uh, I told him that uh, I was pretty sure it was him that stole my my rifle. Yeah. And I had a um, uh, uh, 356 pistol. Mm -hmm. I had that, and I, was, I told him I was pretty sure it was him that did it because he was the type of person that did not ransack a place. Mm -hmm. He mis ma ma metic meticulously, <coughs> he was a meticulous thief. So things would disappear, kind of? Pe pe things, things would disappear. Um, I didn't think that he would take things from me. I knew that he was taking things from Beverly, D'Angelo. Uh, anyway, um, I did not think that he would take things from me, but I did know he was a thief. Yeah. And the, the guns turned up missing, mm -hmm. and it was not a mess. Somebody had gone in there looked under my pillow and had taken my pistol mm -hmm. and um, had gone around in the back of the um, the shower and had taken my rifle. They didn't mess up anything. Mm -hmm. The only thing that made sense to me was that it might have been Steve. Mm -hmm. So I confronted him with that he got um, all upset, and I had a little um, um, little twenty-two pistol, mm -hmm. and uh, um, he knew right where it was because he went ahead and grabbed it. And his his philosophy was that um, when he was in the military. Uh, they taught him to kill people. And when he got out of the military, he did not seem, um, it, it did not seem right to him that he should stop. Hmm. He, he felt, you know, killing, I don't. Um, he, he felt killing people was okay. And, um, he went ahead and reached for where I had still had the little pistol. Right. And where was it? It was uh, it was on my on my bed. Oh, okay. We we had gone in there. And I said, look, my my one pistol was here. My rifle was over there. Nothing has been stolen. Right. If somebody comes in to steal things, they're gonna steal the yeah. rifle. They're gonna sure. steal the pistol. Gonna steal the television set. All kinds of stuff. Right. They're gonna steal a bunch of stuff. The only thing that was missing was the guns. Okay. So I confronted him with that. He apparently knew where my little pistol still was because he reached over and grabbed it. We started to have uh, um, a little tussle, nothing big to start with. And he says, well, you know, I'm not going back to jail. For, for stealing your stuff or anybody else's stuff. 
his um, uh, um, he's the person that if you have a lineup, he's going to get picked every time for <laughs> for any you know for it doesn't matter what the crime is. He just has the look. He, he <laughs> I mean, most of the time I look scruffy. He's even scruffier. He he's the person that ninety nine percent of the people will say he's the one that did it. Right. You know, unless it's a yeah a, a black guy or a woman, he's the one that's guilty. Yeah. Um, pe- the police have stopped him um, uh, numerous times because he looks guilty. You know, just for like the police around here, he, he he'd be down at the of the park or something, you know, and we don't know what you did, but you look guilty for something. Oh, I see. Okay, so uh, I try to cooperate with the police. I'm <sighs> haven't been doing a very good job, I guess, but for obvious reasons, and. Uh, he was the one that was always guilty. Yeah. So. Um, so you guys are wrestling. So we he he grabbed a little pistol, and he said that, um, you know, he doesn't want to go back to jail. Yeah. And he decided he was going to kill himself. So um, he shot himself in the head. Right there in your home. Right. Right there. Right there. Where did he shoot um, himself in the head at? Well, that that was the whole stupid thing. He he shot himself, and then he ran out. And but it's I didn't I, I didn't know it at the time. I always thought, you know, it it was a little bitty gun. It yeah. it wouldn't kill you, but mm-hmm. it would certainly hurt. Yeah. And it's you know it's five shots for crying out loud. Yeah. So. Uh, he he went out of the room. He went around um, into um, the uh, that little hallway, yeah. and I'm following him. Yeah. That was when it got even worse. Okay, uh-huh. and he emptied the gun in his own head. I could I could not believe it. I could not believe it. But it's just a 22 with a little one inch barrel yeah. and it was just going boom boom and that where was did he shoot himself up I mean in the head he was you know he was bleeding well I mean uh, did he you know sometimes people point in different no, areas no 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 I was I was I was holding on to him uh, as best I could yeah. and he was going like this and, and shooting himself in the head and where I don't know but okay he w- he was shooting himself in the head. And then what happened? And um, after a fashion, um, he managed to, to do it. And basically, I basically I did the same thing, which, to, like I say, it doesn't make any damn sense at all why two people would end up in my pig pen. Yeah. So what and, happened with him? Um, I him I did leave him out there uh-huh. for, for quite a while yeah. until there was practically nothing left. Like how long was it left? Uh, I left him there for a couple of weeks. I left him there for a couple of weeks. There was basically practically nothing left, and uh, I, oh, was, no. I was I was. Can I was, back up just a little bit? So he shot himself in the in in your place that we were at this morning when we came down there and you yes. you left in place. So then no, how? not no, not up, not no, not down there in the barn. I was still oh, in the barn. This, okay. this, this was this was a couple of years ago. This was this was a couple of years ago. I was still living in what's now Brady's room. Okay. Okay. And so. So like 2011, 2010, 2009. I. I don't know. Okay. Um, it was it was at least a couple of years ago. Okay. And uh, um, 
So I, I, I left him out there for a couple of weeks. And, no, no. and then I... Where at in the barn did... Where at in the barn did he shoot himself? It was... Because like, I know the barn. It, it was um, in, inside... Pr- pretty, pretty much where... <laughs> God. Are you talking about the hallway that you took me and showed me his stuff down there in the ground, Robert's stuff? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, in, I know what in, you're talking about. In, in there. Okay. Okay. That makes so sense. So he... Um, just about the same place that I marked where mm-hmm. the bones for Robert were uh-huh. is where he shot himself. Okay. Um, and so did you take him out into the yard, obviously, then? Uh, no. The, oh, I thought you the, said that you took him out. No, I, the, the pigs drug him out later. Okay. Uh, to about the same spot as where Robert was? No. Where? Well, I, I don't know exactly, but no, he was up at this. He, he wasn't. Rob, Robert was over here, right. and Steve was down at this. Can end. you just mark he, with the pen about where Steve was? Um, that would help me out to kind of okay, get reference. The, 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 the uh, where that, where that, the, the one pig with her yeah. baby is yeah, there. Yeah, right. And the these, okay, these, these walls were not up at the time. Okay. Okay. I just put those up recently uh, for her mm-hmm. because I still have the other three in that back pen. Okay. And um, I've tried to sell those and I haven't been able to sell them. Mm-hmm. So I put these up here so she had a place by herself. Mm-hmm. These walls were not up. Uh, um, the, the back door here, that was open. Steve ended up in here, mm-hmm. and they just dragged him out. Okay. But he yeah. ended up staying he, outside, and that's where they ate him? Yes. Well, they ate part of him in there, and then okay. they dragged him out here, and I, I don't know. So what parts are over here? And the, there's a skull and a couple other things, not much. What happened to his clothes and his belongings? Uh, I did the same thing. I did the same thing. I, this this whole thing is so. Is it okay if I write totally bizarre right here? Where um, is this where Steve shot himself? Yes. But this is where he emptied the rest of the gun out. Yes. Yes. So I'll just write here: Steve shot himself with rest of bullets. Yes. And then inside the other place where he shot himself once, inside your little room here? Yes. Okay, so he shoots himself once after he says, I'm not going to go to, to jail or prison right. or whatever right. for stealing right. stuff. He grabs the gun right. and then I've, he shoots himself. I've, and now I've, this is I where... Wasn't, I wasn't planning on turning him in or anything. Right. He just got it in his mind that... And then right here is where... Um, Steve's remains are right yes. now. And, and so, so this was a couple of years ago. This was a couple of years ago, and you guys actually came out. Uh-huh. Uh, and um, I went around, and I was picking up his bones. Mm-hmm. There was no meat on him any longer. Yeah. How um, long do you think he stayed out here? It, it was a couple of three weeks. Okay. That's a long time. Did they? There was not much left. Okay. Uh, I I went ahead and um, there were a bunch of bones from um, from pigs and sheep and goats mm-hmm. that were laying all over the place. Mm-hmm. And I decided to get rid of everything. Mm-hmm. So I went ahead and. I dug a hole over there. Okay. And uh, my good old neighbors, um, I don't know what they were doing, but they saw me throwing bones in a hole. Mm-hmm. So they called you. Oh. And a couple people came out. Like deputies? Yeah. Just the mm-hmm. normal cops, the, the sheriff's office? Yes. Um, they came out and... Um, they said um, 
somebody saw you throwing bones in a hole. Mm-hmm. And I said, right there. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, I still had some other bones laying around. And uh, the guy said, oh, well, that's a pig bone. And I said, yes. Mm-hmm. Was it Steve, some of it? No. No. Okay. No, it was it was a pig bone. Okay. No, I'm talking about the other bones mixed in. Were there any bones of Steve's mixed yes. into them? Yes. Right there that the cops were looking at? Pretty much. Okay. And uh, they didn't really look at the other bones. Mm-hmm. They they looked at a couple of things, and they said, oh, that's a pig bone. Mm-hmm. So I guess one of the officers knew what a pig bone would look like. Okay. And I told him that I was just going around picking up mm-hmm. all the bones laying around, and Right. Um, there's there's a great big skull out in the back pen right here, mm-hmm. and um, I've thought about burying that. And uh, um, um, he asked me some kind of question, and uh, um, I said they were buried about two feet down. I asked him if he wanted a shovel. And he didn't want to shovel, and he left. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, just for clarification, is this where that pile of bones is, or is this where just the skull and a few things are? No, there's a whole bunch of bones there. So the skull will be mixed in. About how far deep is it, or how it's, far down? It's probably about three feet now, because I took a bunch of dirt and like okay. I leveled out the whole okay. indentation there, and I filled in some more, and then. I had um, I had Robert. I had, there was a bunch of dead trees in here, and then several out here. Mm-hmm. I had Robert uh, cut them up into mm-hmm. um, firewood size yeah. pieces, and I had all the pigs were in this pen, and so he was over here helping me uh, cut up this firewood, and that's all piled up. Yeah. There's that there's that little building, little metal building. Yeah. And then there. right on the other side of that, there's yeah. a big. Well, it's smaller now, but there was a big pile of uh, wood, mm-hmm. and he cut up a good portion of that. And uh, um, um, yes, that's about it. Whatever happened to the little gun? I still have it. Where's it? Um. It's in my room, up, okay. up, up in the house. Can I just flip this over and you can do a little diagram uh, of that thing? It's, um, um, it's in the back there where, where my bed is on the, on the shelf. Can you just do a little, yeah, if you don't mind? Yeah. Um, right there on the shelf. Okay. Where's the step? Oh, this is the door and the yeah, steps? Yeah, the steps are over here. Okay, here, I'll just make them work yeah. here if it's okay. So steps... Yeah. To residence. Yes. And then um, it's by the bed. There we go. That looks better. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. um, Steve, now, does Steve have family around here, do you know? No. Okay. Where's he from? Uh, I don't know. He's given me all kinds of stories that he's got property in uh, Florida, and uh, I don't believe any of it. You don't remember his last name? Not, no. And you think that he might have been around your age? Yes, I think he was a couple years older than me. Was he Was he white? Yes. How tall, do you think? Um, so about my size, a little bit less weight. Okay. Um, and you're just under six foot? Yes. Okay. He was, he was about the same height and um, weighed a little bit less. How much do you think he weighed? Like, was he kind of slender or was uh, he like medium? Medium. Did he have any facial hair or anything at the time? Yes. Okay. Yes. That was... What color was his hair? Mostly gray. Okay. Did he have any kids or anything? Um, I don't know that if he did or not. Anybody come around asking about him? No. How did you meet him? He was one of those people that just showed up to work. And... uh, Well, now you say showed up. Was it like from a, you know, help wanted? Yes. And... and then, um, Where did you place that at? At 
Oh, it was at one of the one of the stores. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know which one he saw. Okay. And then over, uh, I probably knew him uh, more than anyone else. Okay. Really? Uh, How long? You no, know, five years. Steve. Yeah. For five years. Um. Yeah, I probably known him for at least five years. Did he have a yeah. wallet with him or anything that you had ended up having to, to put yeah. with the clothes or? Uh, um, I don't know exactly what he did had. Where's his bicycle um, at? He didn't have it with him. Oh, okay. I, um, uh, he he had, he had wanted me. Uh, he had wanted me to give him some money to um, um, to leave. Um, Beverly um, um, Beverly got frustrated with him, and he got frustrated with her. Mm-hmm. Um, George, um, her her husband. What was his last name? Um, I can't think. Tell me again um, where they live really quick, and then I'll. It's 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 the last driveway on the pavement. The last driveway on the pavement off on Pleasant Creek. Off Pleasant Creek. Yes. Okay. So it's mile fourteen or. Do you remember if it's the right or the left, or I mean, it's kind it's, of all, it's on the left. It's they're, they're, they're not, there's nothing on the right. Mile side. marker fourteen. It's yeah. the last. It's, it's after, the last one. It, it's the last okay. driveway. All right. It's the last driveway. He he wanted. Um, he wanted to go ahead and leave because yeah. um, George um, had been dead for a couple of years. He's buried on the property, uh, on their property, yeah. not mine. Yeah. Uh, he's buried on uh, their property up there. She had accepted a um, uh, a parcel from. Um, Sears, I think it was, from George after he had been dead for two years. Mm-hmm. Steve could not accept that. Um, it was um, um, It was disrespectful of his belief in George that she should go ahead and do such a thing. Mm-hmm. And you know, um, I guess it was George that had the account at Sears, and she ordered something, and it came in his name, and and not Beverly's name, and. He he went on about this for several weeks, and uh, he he said that he could not live there with her, yeah. and um, that her disrespect. That's not exactly how he put it, but her disrespect of George, who he felt very um, uh, com- very much concerned about, and uh, he he did not think that you know she should have done that, and it was typographical error. Think you know it wasn't it wasn't any big deal. I didn't think it was any big deal. He would not listen to me. Uh, he called me and uh, said he was going to leave the state, go to uh, California for a while, and then possibly to this house that he had in Florida, which I did not believe mm-hmm. in the slightest. Because why would you be why living, would you be living here? Why, why, well, why would you be living in a, a run-down trailer right. here sure. where you, when you have a house, yeah. you know? Uh, so he, uh, he called me, asked me to come up and get him. I did. Um, and then at Beverly's. At, yes, I went up to Beverly's and I got him. Mm-hmm. And um, 
uh, he wanted me to give him a hundred dollars to have some traveling money. He gave me his food stamp card. <laughs> okay, he gave me food his stamp card. Food stamp card. He 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 wanted to he, he wanted me to uh, get some beer, you know, for him when we got into town. Uh, I gave him the money. He gave me the food stamp card, and I knew his number. I can't remember what it is now, but I did know his number because the first of every month, um, that was my thing. Um, I would take him into um, Grants Pass, mm -hmm. and we'd, we'd go to uh, the grocery outlet sure. and get a bunch of stuff, and then mm -hmm. we would go next door to the uh, Walmart mm -hmm. and get whatever else he wanted. Mm -hmm. He... Uh, uh, he liked a lot of things that were already prepared, which did not make any sense to me. But he didn't have a really nice kitchen or anything, so he, he got a lot of prepared stuff, which my logical mind did not make a whole lot of sense. He did like to make his own spaghetti. Uh, and he used a whole lot of my pork <laughs> in the spaghetti. <laughs> in the spaghetti, and then he would he would buy you know some beef also. Yeah. But he used a lot of my pork in his spaghetti. And uh, um, when when I uh, when I did that, I, I I gave him the money, and he gave me the food stamp card, and uh, he said he was. He was leaving to give me a ride the rest of the way into um, uh, into Rogue River, and uh, I said I would do all of that, and that was when I confronted him. I so, said, you know, you're you're leaving, yeah. you know, yeah. and where are my Right. Yeah. That was that was it. I said, you know, um, I like you a lot. I've always liked you. Yeah. But um, nothing, you know, my, my guns were missing, but nothing else was missing. Yeah. And it seemed too obvious to me right. because yeah. that was the kind of person he was. Was he there would, anybody he, else around who could have done it? There were other people, mm -hmm. but I did not think that anybody else, I, I no. I thought that if anybody else had come in, they would have taken the TV and the right. er, and stuff. Yeah. And kind of his mo to. It, yeah, it was his mo. He would he would he would, he would he would go through Beverly's house, and he would find silver dollars. He would go. She, um, on at least one occasion, um, saw him going through her purse, mm. and really did not do anything about it. <coughs> well, uh, he was um, he was a very good um, uh, yard keeper. Her place, he would pick up every pine needle. Uh, he would go around a couple times a day, just raking pine needles and leaves and things. Her place looked very nice. It was. She uh, still her, live out there? Yes, her her house is a disaster. <laughs> uh, it looks like kind of a Rube, Rube Goldberg thing. It was just kind of, well, I'm going to build a room, and then I added on a room, and then they added on a room. <laughs> and at, at one point, she wanted a, a, a root cellar, and um, I'm not sure why the house has not fallen, fallen into the root cellar, because it would flood. Yeah. And... Um, she would do canning, uh, lots of it. He would pick uh, pick the fruit off the trees. She would can it. She would not can it properly. There was all kinds of things growing in in the jars. I would not eat any of it. And how old is Beverly now? 
she's 70-something, oh, I guess. Um, I haven't been up to her place for a couple of years. Yeah. Um, Did she know him for a long time? Yes. Oh, how yeah. did she meet him? Do you know? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. But he was he was staying in a little um, Airstream camper on her property. Um, I met her, and she's weird. Um, she's a Seventh Day Adventist. She believes the Earth is only two thousand years old. The the thing that turned me off of her more than anything else was the fact that. Uh, 2,000 years ago, there was a uh, an eggshell around the planet composed of frozen um, um, hydrogen or something. Mm -hmm. uh, it, Interesting. Yeah. Uh, t t t uh, total nut job. <laughs> uh, and uh, 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 I had gone up and done some electrical and plumbing work for her. She wa um, she wanted some solar panels put up for hot water. Mm -hmm. But instead of putting up on the roof, she wanted to put next to the wall down here where they get very little sunlight and, right. you know, next to useless. Yeah. Um, but that's where she wanted me to put them. So I said, okay. And I put them down there. And uh, one day she asked me to come in and have some lunch. And she's a, a vegetarian. And I went in and had some little patty. And uh, I, wow, this is actually good. Mm -hmm. And she told me what it was. And I looked at the label. And it was half fat. She doesn't look at labels. She simply goes to the health food store. And if it's in the health food store, it's, it's healthy. <laughs> um, she's, she weighs as much as I do, and she's a half a foot shorter. Um, she's, her, um, she's not healthy at all. I know it's difficult to talk to you, but I, I just need some <sighs> clarification on Steve, okay? Yeah. Steve, when he was um, in your room... Yes. And he, um, it's, you said that he took the gun and he shot himself once. Yes. Um, so did he, um, did he say anything? Did he just stand there? Or what, what, what happened exactly? Did no, he I mean, I, um, he, he grabbed the gun and I grabbed him. And he was stronger than me. Yeah. But he took his hand and, and shot himself. And he said, I'm going to kill myself? And, and, yeah, he, he he said, "I'm killing myself. I'm not going back to jail." Okay. Uh, he he shot himself the once. He ran out. I chased mm -hmm. him, and he got over into the other room, and I grabbed him again. And with me holding his After hand, after he had already been shot the one time. Yes, but it it was just a little bit of blood. And you know, I I thought, heck, you shoot somebody, you're gonna. <laughs> You know, I, 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 I like the mystery things, you know, and you always hear the, the, the bad guys, they shoot you twice in the back of the head. That's the, the thing. Well, I thought, you know, that you shoot somebody point blank range with this little gun, you know, I thought he would have died right then. Yeah. And it just bounced off. And, and he uh, he got loose from me. He ran around, and uh, he emptied the gun in his head. Is that Steve? Uh, I I don't think so. I can't really see very well. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's him. Well, let me see if it, if I can see if there's a name on here. Um, sometimes that, that, I that, look up stuff. Yeah, and, that that doesn't look like him. Um, Did he have long hair like that? It wasn't that long, and most everything was gray. Yeah. And he had a, he had a full, pretty much full. No, he had pretty much a full beard. Okay. Well, he doesn't have a beard there, but 
Well, like I said, I can't really see without my glasses. Okay, all right. I, I, can, I, can, I can see over there. Well, I can't see. How about if I, how about if I get you a, a big picture of him? Would that help out more? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But that, like, I don't think, that doesn't look like him. Okay. Who, who's that supposed to be? That's a Steve that it, I just looked up on my phone. Oh. So. Um, yeah, that doesn't look, I guess there's plenty of Steves. I'm there. sure there are, so. Um, so he, he uh, had... Uh, last, last name starts with a D. Yeah, okay. Last name starts with a D. A D, okay. I'll yes. put um, Steve D. Remember if he had a middle name? No. Or any uh, nicknames? No. Okay. Did um, he, how long did he live out in the in Rogue River area here? Um, he, he stayed with Beverly for yeah. at least five years okay. that I know of. And then you he, mentioned that he stayed in a small trailer? Yes, she had. Where was that? She, oh, that was on, that on, on, on her property. The Airstream you talked yes, about. Yeah, yeah. He had. Okay. Well, she had. She and George had uh, an Airstream trailer <coughs> that, that he stayed in. And it was um, uh, fairly neatly kept. Mm -hmm. he, was, he was very neat all the time. But, um, no. Uh, he he kept things neat all the time, but he, he was a lot more scruffy than I yeah, was. I, right. I, I am. When Steve shot himself in the head, was it? Can you describe like from start to finish where he, the time that he um, shoots himself once, and then can you kind of half describe the audio of that of how it? Half, it was like half a minute. Half a minute. Yeah, I can, I can, no, I can see from the back of that, that, that that's not, no, that's not him. Do you recognize that person? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's Beverly. Beverly? Okay. Yeah, that's, that looks like Beverly. Okay. Thank you. Um, but that doesn't look like Steve to you. I mean, I know that he doesn't have a beard, but if he had a beard and his facial features, and the, especially the eyes were kind of... No. Okay. Well, I mean, find out what the last name is. It starts with a D. You would recognize the name? Yes, I, I would recognize. That That doesn't look like that. Okay. So the, um, the pop, so pop one time in the house, in your room. Yeah. And, and then, then about how long until it, it, it was, shoots? It was only a few, it, it was less than 30 seconds probably, 30 okay. seconds about that. You know, and, then, and then how did the next succession of rounds yeah. fire off? Were they close together? Were they far apart? Um, um, only a few seconds apart. A few seconds apart? Yes, I was so was it like pop, 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 Maybe pop. A, little, a little farther apart than that. So, it was, he, so he shoots himself once and then it's Pop, pop, pop. Something like that. Pop. Yeah. A little farther apart. Yeah. And then he and he did a total of how many shots? Five. Five total. Oh, yeah. it was a five shot. A little five shot okay. revolver. Okay. I mean, you could put it in your palm of the hand. You, you don't just... remember where it was though. No. Okay. No. Right. I I don't remember where it was. Okay. Um. Um. And then. Um. This was a couple of years ago. This think. was a couple of years ago. Okay. Right. And um, at that time, I um, at that time I went up and um, I, I talked to Beverly, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I told her pretty much what he was planning on doing be right. beforehand. You mean about? Um, Going out of town? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Did he have a cell phone or anything? No, he had nothing. Okay. All right. No. So he, um, so you told her, did you tell her that because, or why did you tell her that he, his plans? Well, well that was, that was his plan, so I just oh. kind of went along with it. Okay. Um, I see. Did she ask you? Did she ever ask you, hey, have you seen Steve around? No, I had gone up there. Oh. And, uh, I, Told her what happened. Oh. Well, I told her what his plans. His, I told her his plans. 
How long after he died did you tell her about his plans? Just a couple of days. Okay. Yeah, a couple of days later. So, you know, him being out um, outside and exposed where people could see, were you worried that anybody would come by and see him? You said that other people had been around at that time. Not very often. Right, but, but I mean, no, were, I were didn't. you ever worried that somebody would maybe pop in and say hello and see him laying out there? No. <laughs> but then again, the pigs probably, like you said, they don't know when to stop. You know, yeah. They're just animals. Right. You know, they're animals. Yeah. So they're going to do what they do. But, yeah, and with, you know, in a couple of days, there wasn't much left. Yeah. And... Not recognizable, not, maybe. Not, not recognizable. Okay. Unless you, you know, got in there and walked up and said, oh, that's a skull. Right. You know. Um, okay. But, uh, um, Susan? It's, it's, like I said, it's too st stupid to be. I want to I, use something I, I, right I, now. I, 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 I'm. I'm trying to... I want to do something right now. Okay. I don't want us to get caught up and stop what's going on here yeah. because you're doing the right thing. So I want to move on to the next person, okay? There's no other persons out there. It's Steve and Robert. That's it. And I have, I still have no idea how he got out there. I don't not know how he got out there. I came down in the morning, and I saw the pigs not going over to be fed where they usually do, and I was curious. So I went in, and I saw them. They looked like they were eating, and I couldn't figure out what they might have been eating. So I went closer, and I saw a body, which horrified me. Um, and I tried to get the pigs off of him. They would not move, which, you know, I would, you know, if I was having a nice meal, I wouldn't move either. Uh, and, um, Was Steve yeah. dead when the pigs started eating him? Oh, yeah, definitely. How, how can you be sure? No, he was dead. There was, there was well, he shot himself the five times, but yeah. what, I mean, what happened after it, after he's shooting himself? What's happening? Well, he finally, it finally went through his head. Okay. And and he just died there in he the barn. He died right there in the barn. And and I just I just left him there, and I didn't know what the hell to do. And um, the pigs came in, and another picture. Yep. That's him. Okay. That's him. That's Steve right there. That's Steve. Yes. Okay. Well, we can um, get rid of this thing then. That's not right. Yeah. So that's Beverly and Steve there. Yes. And, uh, yeah. Now, Beverly, Beverly has the house up there. Um, it's the last house on the driveway. Um, okay. Last, last house off of the pavement. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll I think that, uh, we'll and, probably have an address here. Yeah, um, <coughs> please don't tell her what happened. Yeah, we're, we're not going to tell anybody anything right now. <laughs> okay. So, not anybody. Not not even uh, uh, Robert's family right now. We well, don't think it would be best I, to do that right I, now. So. I, don't, I don't really mind. I, I do. I don't really mind you telling what happened to Robert. Yeah. Um, because, like I said, I, have, I still do not have any idea yeah. how he got there. I'm sorry if Chris thinks I'm lying about that, but I'm not. I want to ask you another time really quick. And um, please, you're, you're doing the right thing. You've done, you know, and 
we're going to find him. You know that anyway. Yeah. And well, I, I don't know if you... But anyway, well, yes. well, we okay, would yeah. because we, we've got to now. We've got yes. to oh, I know that you look have through to. everything. I know here, that so you, we're, we're going to find I, things I, anyway. I know, I know that you have they, to. You've heard the gigs up. You know what I mean? Yes. Like it's, it's, yeah, there's no more time for secrets right now. I, I know. I, mean? the, I know the thing is up and... And I want you it, to... It, it, I sound, want you to, it sounds so impossible that something like this could happen to me twice within a couple of years. It sounds strange. <laughs> it does. Uh, it's, yes. I've it's, never heard of somebody shooting themselves uh, five times in the head. I haven't. It, the, the, it's just a little bitty. I, I don't know why it... Do you know what brand it is or anything? Or, no, it's or just, where you it, bought it? No, it's just a little bitty thing. Okay. And I... Uh, when I was down in Los Angeles. Did you shoot it again afterwards? Or did you? No. You haven't shot it since then? No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure I reloaded it. So what happened with I, all the I, shell casings I, I that were in that? You said it was a revolver. Um, did you empty them out? Yeah, I'm just, I don't know what I did with them. Uh, but when did, I, Where I, did I, you reload I, it I, at? Oh, in the, in the room. Oh, okay. In your room? Yeah, not... Five minutes later, but w right. within a week or whatever, okay. I don't know. Uh, but uh, I bought that down in Los Angeles. Uh, uh, and I, uh, on occasion, I put it in my pocket just for self defense. And like I say, it was just, you know, it was this big, it was just a little bitty thing. And I wasn't really. Um, I wasn't really thinking about killing anybody with it, but if I, I, I figured if I had taken it and, you know, pointed it at somebody, and um, I was thinking it was going to do some damage, mm -hmm. and I certainly thought if you, you know, were half a foot from your head, you'd die right away. Right. Uh, and, you know, it, it didn't... Um, and, uh, so he was holding it away he, from his head. He, he was, you know, he was. I, I was, I was like this. I was, I was holding him, and I, you know, and he said, "I'm not going back to jail." I, you know, uh, he didn't, he didn't uh, admit to stealing anything. No, but I mean, the but, gun was away from his head when it went off. Yes. Yeah, it wasn't. Directly. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's typical of what we'll see in a suicide is, you know, a contact. But we can... No, no. It, it, it was... It was... Yeah, it was... Because a, a contact wound makes a much different uh, wound than yeah, holding no, it out here. Yeah, no. It, well, no, it wasn't... Well, half a foot, like yeah, out it, here. It was, yeah, it was... It's going to be different yes, because it, of the it, gas no, and it, everything. It, it, it wasn't a contact wound. Yeah. What about the other four shots? Were those well, contact were, wounds? No. Okay. No, I was I was holding on when when he fired all of the rounds. I was holding his arm and trying to. Do you remember which arm he was holding it in? Um. I guess it was his right. I don't know. Okay. But he was, he was moving around and. Um, were you guys standing up? Yes, okay. we were. You know, we were, we were both standing up, and um, um, I was kind of lucky that. Well, I, I didn't. I didn't understand what was happening, and I was kind of lucky. I suppose that. One of the times he shot it, and yeah. it didn't hit me because I was sure. you know, two feet, you know, foot and a half. I was right, right there. Right. You know, and uh, were you guys facing each other when this yes. happened? Yes. So are you holding him, and he's facing you, and you're trying to get the gun? I, I was. I was holding his arm. Okay. I was holding his arm. I didn't actually grab his hand Let's and the see. gun. Yeah. I was. I was holding him down in here. And he was going like this. What was he doing with his other arm? Trying to get me off. Okay. You know, he was pushing at me. Yeah. 
And uh, I'm pretty sure I had both of my arms on his. And he was going like this and pulling the trigger and pulling the trigger. And it was and the way that you're holding your hand right there almost looks like it would have been up here. Are you just generally holding your hand up saying, or is this where he shot himself up here? I don't know. Okay. I, I, I don't know. But okay. Yeah, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't, you know, like right. there or, right. or in the mouth or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's normally what we would see. You know, people can shoot themselves anywhere, but... Yeah, no, it, it wasn't like that. Um, he might have tried that if I wasn't holding it, but I was, I was holding his arm, and he was basically... You know, we were we were struggling and moving all around. What were you saying? Or were you saying anything at all? I was saying, don't. You know, I I I told him. You know, I, I just I would if you I told him if you did steal them, I'd like to know where they are. I'm not turning you into the police. Mm -hmm. You know, and he he said, I've been in prison. I'm not going back. Hmm. Is there, is there going to be any other DNA from anybody else no. or anything else on no. your property? No. no. Anything at all? No. no. Have you told me everything? Yeah, that's that's everything. The reason the reason I did not bring up Steve to start with was the, co the total insanity of the coincidence. It's, yeah, it's the total insanity of coincidence. That's why I didn't say anything to start with. I'm glad you, that you did the right thing. I hope you are too. I hope that you're glad that you're you're doing the right thing. Oh. Co weird coincidence or not, you know, you're you're filling in the pieces of the puzzle that we're gonna find. Yeah. Say, so, you know, she already told us about this. We already know about this. We were gonna find it anyway. It's just better to, you know, this yeah. is what we're going to find. Yeah. And that's why I said, you know, hey, is there anything else? Because we're going to find it. We're yeah. going to search the whole 20 acres. Yeah. No, there's, there's, there's nothing, out, nothing else out there but animals that I have buried. Um, uh, Any I, other human bones that you may have put no, in a different no, hole somewhere or anything? No, no, no. Okay. All, all of the bones from Steve. <sighs> well... All of the bones that I know of from Steve are in that hole. Um, the uh, a coyote or something could have taken one of his bones and placed it somewhere else. And like I say, my only uh, my only um, logical explanation of the leg being somewhere else was oh, yeah. be, be, before before I had gone in there and picked up what I thought was all of his bones. Yeah. Somebody moved some animal. The only, I, the only well, thing they're I, animals, I, all of them. I mean, yeah, that's what the, they do. Right. The only, the only, my, my only explanation for that one leg uh, being over there in the grass I, I, I imagine the, the I imagine the way I saw the grass is that it is over in what I consider my garden area between the pig pen and the pond. Mm -hmm. That's where you found it. I think it was just on the other side of the pond. I don't know. I I didn't see it, so oh, I just saw okay. the picture and I, and I was told that it was there, and they told me not to go over there, so I didn't go. Okay, over there. that's. It, uh, I saw what you did. I saw the picture. I, 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 I saw the grass, and the only grass that I have that looks like that is where, um, uh, where my garden is. And you would know more than I didn't go uh, over there. I, um, I have a great feeling for animals, and uh, there was a hole in the ground about the size of this table and. Yeah. that deep yeah. and it had some water in it Jackson County says you cannot 
or have to get a permit or whatever in order to dig a pond yeah. unless it's existing. Yeah. And I considered this the size of this and that deep to be a pond, so I enlarged it about 200 times. <laughs> I, I took my back home and I enlarged yeah. it about 200 times. I won't tell anybody. And um, it's, it's right in the corner of my property. And um, I had a fence that went up to the corner. Mm -hmm. And I took that down so that the animals yeah, could come in and drink. get a drink. That's nice of you. And uh, I have uh, all kinds of animals over there all the time. Sure. <coughs> when, when, it, when it's uh, full, uh, occasionally I have had the geese come in and land there. Oh. And I would go up and you know say hi. And um, uh, about um, uh, about halfway, about a half a mile, about halfway between Queens Branch and my property, the elk come across the road, mm. go on to um, uh, the guy's property. I can't think of his name either right now. Um, and then they come up, they get a drink from my pond, and my place is clean, mm -hmm. and they go on the other side of the fence, and I can hear them going through the, the brush, because the deer are nice and quiet, yeah. the elk just... They just go where they want to they go. They just go where they want to go. So occasionally I hear them... Um, you know, I, and I, I've seen them down there getting a drink of water, mm -hmm. and I hear them walking across the uh, the um, west west my west west fence mm -hmm. on the other side of the west fence. They go from there. They go uh, maybe a mile down the road, and they come back and come. Uh, back across, and they go uh, through the back end of my property, and then over to the other people's, and make this little circle. Mm -hmm. And uh, for some reason, they have a habit of uh, locking down my fence in one location. They first couple jump over, and the next time go through it more. So, and. Uh, um, Anyway, yeah. Um, that, that can, I, can I go take a, a bathroom break really quick? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Let me run out real quick. How are you doing? Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm still fine. Um, I'll be right back. Okay. okay.
Hey, remember me? Yeah. How you doing? Uh, you all right? I'm, um, uh, too many bubbles. Oh, a little gas coming yeah, out? I'm, I'm having a couple of This is going to sound even more stupid than anything else, but one of my problems... That stupid silver thing over there is crooked, and I can't stand looking at it. Is that better? A little. Better? More better. Okay. That's about all I, I can do. Uh, I, yeah. Yeah. So I, you, I, I, I pick up stuff like that and... The, right. Just you know, sometimes little things bother you little, like little, that. Little, yeah. I, I go into a store and I see papers in a jar and I take all the papers and straighten them up and make it all nice and... It's stupid, but things like that bug the hell out of me. Right. And I don't know how much that affected my... Oh, working on the polygraph, polygraph like test that. either. Because I'm sitting here and I'm looking at that thing all crooked and I'm thinking to myself... <sighs> yeah. Well, and, and let, me, let me tell you, I... I know there's little things like that bother me too sometimes. You know, the it's picture right. could be crooked and then it's it's right, right, there and right. fix it. And I, causes uh, problems, it, right? Yes. So stuff, stuff, I, like, stuff I, like that really bugs right. me. Yeah. Well, I've, I've heard what you've been telling yes. Detective yes. Henderson and uh, heard about the bones, that uh, Steve's bones that are yes. mixed in that pile and put in, in the ground there. Yes. And you lived there since 1999, is that correct, or before? No. That's, uh, for the record, your search, I don't know if they do it or not, but your search warrant is invalid because right, you got the wrong date on there. Uh -huh. I bought the place in 91. Right. But. I think, uh, well, I think uh, on the search warrant was just implying that the records that he viewed on the for the county showed 99. There must have been, sometimes when you update or upgrade or put property uh, I bought, or building. I bought, I bought the place in 91. Yeah. And, uh, Did you do all that building out there that's on there? I, when I bought the place, there was nothing but trees and scrub brush. So you did all, yeah. the, all the excavating there yourself? I didn't do the excavating myself, no. Okay. So you don't run that back, however? Oh, I do. Yes. Oh, okay. But I hired somebody to do the excavating and I, put in that, I, I, put I, in I, the I, cement and stuff no, like that. I, well, um, when when I first got up here, I knew where I wanted the house to be generally, mm -hmm. and I knew where the, you know I placed the I placed the barn in such a way that I did not take out a lot of trees, mm -hmm. and. I went ahead and called some people because it was a slope and I needed some dirt brought in. And I, funny story, I've said a hundred times, but I called up a couple people and I wanted some dirt. And I couldn't believe how much they wanted for dirt. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. So, over on Pleasant Creek, almost directly behind me, was uh, a guy named Backhole Bob. Mm -hmm. who ended up dying from drug overdose. And uh, he had a backhoe just like the one that I have. Right. And um, I can't remember exactly how, but I had gotten a hold of him. And he came over and I said, I want to start excavating for my house and to have the dirt moved over for the level of the barn. Okay. And he told me that um, he would work for half an hour for free, and if I did not like his performance, um, he wouldn't charge me anything. So he had the backhoe revved up all the way, and he was just going fast as the thing would go. And I was thinking to myself, you're wrecking your own machine here, but if it's your machine and you want to do that, and you know. So there's a lot of stories about that property since you've yes. lived there, and a lot of things that happened so, over the, over the so years. Well, yeah. So anyway, so. He, he he dug about a third of that basement out, mm -hmm. and then uh, moved the dirt over for me, and then uh, I got some gravel in and spread it out. I did that myself, and uh, I had my own transit, and uh, so I leveled it out and. 
uh, I found somebody to come out and pour the slab. And I laid, all the, I laid out all the steel and everything. And uh, I just had four or five guys, I can't remember what, that was you know, a long time ago. Right. And they came out and poured the slab. And I remember specifically having the inspector come out. And he's holding the plans in his hand and looking at it and being amazed at how much steel was in there. I said, this is mine. I want steel in there. I don't want it falling apart. It's the same with my house. There's probably more steel in there that is necessary. But it's mine. I want it done right. And um, I have I have told people, I've seen these programs, you know, where they build you a house in two weeks. Mm -hmm. I would not have anybody, I, I would love to have my house finished. It's taken me years. But I would not want someone to come out and build me a house in two weeks because you can't do it properly. Right. You know? Um, so they're, they're, they're painting walls while the sheetrock is still wet from the joint mortar. Right. Susan, I, I kind of... Um, I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I know, I'm, I know I'm getting astray again. Yeah, but um, that, that's, that's okay. But I just... Um, I want to talk about this a little bit more, okay? Because I want to do what's right for the people that are dead. Yes. And I want to and do what's right yeah, for you. Yeah. And All right. And I, I, and I want I want to I, slow I, down I, yeah, and back I know, I can't, a, l a little bit about this, okay? Yeah, I, I can't believe myself. That's right. why I never brought any of it up to uh, start with. I can't believe myself the way things ended up. Right. Okay. And... And you've told us about two things that happened there. Yes. Okay. And you haven't told us about three, and you haven't told us about four things no. that have happened there. No. But you've told us about two things yes. that have happened there. Now, these two things that happened there that you were part of, yes. and an integral part of, and both of these people ended up in the pen yes. at some point or another, both times that you've told these stories, you've told them in a way that you're trying to relieve responsibility from you. Now, I'm going to tell you, one of the things I do is I'm a deputy medical examiner. That means... I realize what that is. Right. I examine people. I determine cause and manner of death. Yes. I've examined over a thousand people. Yes. And of those, probably about 500 that have committed suicide with handguns. Never have I in any literature or personally or heard ever, ever somebody shooting themselves five times in the head. I ever it is I No no what I'm what I'm telling I, you I, is, I, is I, that I, doesn't I, happen. Let, let me I, tell you no, what I, I, I what I've seen I understand. Here. I think there's I think there's a minute possibility because I I've listened to you enough, all right, about what's happened here. I think there's a minute possibility that maybe he did shoot, Steve did shoot himself one time. But you're kind of the person that would put somebody out of their misery if they were suffering, such as what happened with Robert, the story you told about Robert. He's suffering, yes. isn't he? Yes. And you felt obligated to not have him suffer, just like any other animal, you don't want somebody to suffer, do you? Right, right. So what I'm saying when, when, is, when, is it... When, I, when, you, when you find his skull, it's about three feet down, because it was about two feet when, when those other officers came out. Right, and there's going to be five holes it, in it, isn't there? There's going to be one hole in it, and five, and four... Indentation. So you think it all went into the same hole? No. No. No, we were we were we were wrestling with the stupid little. So thing. there's no way that he could have gotten all five shots into the same entry. No. No, I'm saying. So there would be. So these bounced off his head. Yes. There's four. But at some point, something went into yes. his head, right? There, there's there, there there's four. 
I'm, there's four indentations mm -hmm. in his head and one hole. So one one went right into him. Yes. And you know this because because I was holding on to his arm. So did you see the bullets bounce off of his head? No, I saw the blood. So how do you know that those bullets didn't go into him? Um, how do you know the bullets didn't go into I his suppose, head? I suppose I don't, but I I can't understand. For, no, you do know why. I, if you if, do know if, why. If, if you get a bullet in your brain, you die. Yes, you will, or you can, depending on where where it goes. You can survive for a short period of time, depending on where it is at. There have been people that have survived at least one shot in the head, depending on where it's at and the location. Um, and I, I whether that I, bullet I, bounces around inside I, or yeah, not. I guess I never really thought about that part of it. But you're telling me for sure you know that there's four indentations and one that goes in. Well, when, you, let me let me tell you why. When, when, uh, when let me tell you why a bullet doesn't enter the skull, okay. even a 22 bullet. Yes. It's when it's at an angle. Yes. Okay? okay. It's when it's at an angle. Usually, when somebody shoots at another person, and it doesn't hit perpendicular, you know. Right. Yes. Okay. At an angle, and then it slides wrong and comes yes. off. Yes. When somebody puts a gun to their head, they put it to their head. But I was holding his arm. When the same one with the with the with gun the, in. With the gun in. We were we were wrestling to okay. did, I was I, I did he I, did I was, he shoot himself and then you help him finish because you were because he was suffering. I want to know this. Did you help him finish it because you did not want to see him suffer anymore? Now he, there, there may be more than one hole in his head. Um, the, the first. Why did you uh, not call not, the, Why did you not call the police? Why did you hide this? I don't know. Tell me why you hid this. If if he did this, you have a phone in your house, right? Yes. So you can call. You could have called the police. Yes. You could have said, "I tried to stop this guy. He shot himself. I even grabbed his arm. I tried to prevent him from killing himself." Um, Why didn't you? What happened? I, I, what, I, I, Susan? I Susan? I don't, I don't know. What and, happened? And with with I don't know. And with. I don't know why I didn't do that. And with Steve, it was quite some time before the pigs had gotten to him. And the pigs had my my feeling. How long was he feet. dead before the pigs got to him? Hours. Hours. Yes. What happened when he didn't do something right that irritated you? Is he, did he cause some anxiety in you um, that made you no, feel angry? No, it was no, it was um, he. If if I said if I said something wrong about him, he got um, very upset and he would run away. He did he did not want to be criticized for anything. Mm -hmm. he, he did not want to. Um, he did not want to show weakness. He always had to be the man. He would not allow me to do things. So did he try to bully you? No. No. But he wanted to do things and show he was a manly man. Yes. Yes. I mean, I, I'm sure you heard what I right, said. Right, yes. And he... Um, he almost busted both legs one time, and one time he walked ten miles home because he could not do what he wanted to do. Why did you hide this? 
the it's I wanted to hide the second thing. And um, then when you found the lake, I, uh, my only assumption was, you know, I picked up everything that was here and the lake was someplace else. So I told you what happened. What if I told you that, and that there was a possibility that that lake could be Stevens? No. No way. No way. No, I can no. tell you I took a look at it tonight. I picked it up. Yes. And it looked like it could have been in the water for some quite some time. It's near that pond. Um, Is it possible a coyote could have gotten something of Steve's and drug it somewhere? That's really getting into impossible. Is that possible or impossible? Well, I think that's impossible. It, 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 it's getting very near impossible. Right. I can't. Yeah, uh, of course, I, you know, we'll get DNA and we'll make sure yes, who it is, yes, obviously. I, but I, I would, I, no, that's, to me, that's getting very close to impossible. Okay. Well, I, I just want to make sure. Okay. Uh, like I said, I, I, still, I still have no idea how Robert got into the pen. Right. And all of that is true. Is it? Every, every, everything I said is true about that. Is it true? Yes. I have. I, I mean, really, is it true? Because yes, I have no idea how he got into that, that pen that, or, that or, part, why, or why he got into That part pen. doesn't make any sense to me. You say that you can go into those that pig pen any time. They never bother they you. Never, they never, they bother never, me. they never try to go after you. No. You've never seen them go after anybody. No. The, o the only time. The only time that they are, um, the, the only time that they get mad is if you go in and try to grab one of the babies from a, from one of the sows. Were there babies in there when Robert died? I don't think there were. I don't think that there were. I'm pretty sure that the babies were all in that. I still have the, the three babies because they're getting bigger now. But they are in the back room, uh, in the southeast corner of the barn. There's three three pigs in there, and I don't believe that. Okay, so you don't believe they, there were. There I don't. Time. I don't believe that they were outside. And I, I even I, shot himself five times. Yes, and did you? Pull the trigger on any of those times no. when you were wrestling with his no. hand. He he had he had the gun in his hand. I was holding. Did all five gun. bullets hit his head? I I honestly don't know. He emptied the gun. I honestly do not know. This it, happened it, in the in the other barn down below, right, where you were staying at that point. It didn't happen in where you're. It not, wasn't in the house. No, right. it wasn't in my house. It happened. So if these bullets it, that did not penetrate into his head, obviously bounced somewhere. Did you find them? I never looked. Could they have went into the wall or into Possibly. the floor? Possibly. So they should be there still. Possibly. I don't, I, I never looked for them. But they would just be f fragments of 22. Yes. But he, he emptied the gun. Um, I don't know if there are more than one hole in his head, but he fired all five shots. When you when you got the skull out of the pig pen, did you look at it? No. I mean, you had to see that there was one hole, did you not? I didn't look. Was the whole skull there? Yes. But set to the jaw, things like that? I believe so. I don't know for sure. What about Roberts? Was the whole jaw there? The lower jaw still attached? I don't know. Robert, um, well, neither, neither one that I really look at. I just kind of, 
it's it's different from a human and an animal. I mean, I when I shoot an animal, I look at the animal and I shoot it right in the head to put it out of misery, right. you know, to put it to death as quickly as possible. In this case, you told me you shot and Robert to put him out of his misery. Yes, but I I could not look at him. I could not look at him. I I, I saw him there. You made a statement earlier to Chris about when you becoming have anxiety that you feel homicidal. I did no. I, yes, I do that. Yes, I do that. So what do you mean by that? I, I, Are you thinking about killing somebody? Is no, that what you mean? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I have. Like your neighbor. Well, the neighbor for one thing, but I, right. I've never done that. And like I say, when I've gone to the grocery store or something, and I have a panic attack, an anxiety attack, right. I remove myself from the situation, and I sit in my car or go sit by a tree, and in a few minutes to a half an hour or something, I'm perfectly calm. Um, I've never taken all the drugs that the stupid psychiatrists and right. you know I, when when I needed help, I went to the county and I said I needed a little help. Just give me a hundred dollars, and you know they wouldn't do it. And they said the only way we could do anything is to have you go to Jackson County Mental Health. So I went to Jackson County Mental Health, and the people there were all taking drugs. And they would sit, you know, this far away from me and tell me that uh, we're going to prescribe you this drug. And they would tell me that they were taking the drug and that they felt, you know, this thing with the drug and this thing with the drug. So they would prescribe me the drug. And um, Did you take the, it? no. And then the next next time that I saw them, I would tell them what they told me a month ago. Yeah. I, so, never, I never I never took any of the stupid drugs. Right. As long as I am by myself, I'm perfectly fine. Right. I understand. That. I I do have these feelings. You know, it's not necessarily homicidal in the literal expression, I guess, but it's that if there are a bunch of people around me, I have to get out of that situation right then. Right, I understand. And, you know, if... I don't like crowds either. Okay, well, if I get these... Uh, it's, it's not that I really want to kill anybody. You get disturbed. But, but I get... I get all anxious, and I have to get out of the situation. Right. If there's somebody in my way, you know, and which is stupid. Why well, I like I, I keep saying stupid things, but uh, that's just me. Uh, I I feel like if there's a machine gun there, and there's a person that's standing in my way, that I cannot get out of the situation that I am in. I'm just gonna. You know, do something. Do something. With with Steve, it was just me and him, and I confronted him on the situation, and he um, he went ballistic on me, and you know he said, you know, I'm not going back to prison. He was, he was in prison for eight years or whatever I don't know, and he was in prison for quite a while. He got out of the army. He came back to this country, you know, and his feeling was that when he went into the army, that they taught him to kill people, and he thought that even though he was back here, he should be able to still kill kill people, which was ludicrous. Right. Bad thinking. Bad bad thinking. He. Um, he had that, um, I guess he was never diagnosed, but I guess he had that post-traumatic stress syndrome. PTSD. Right. He had, he had that, I'm sure. And uh, he was, um, he was for the most part a loner like me. 
he could keep a garden immaculate. Was he in your way? No. He was not. Most, most, most of the reason my property looks as good as it does was because of him. Okay. He would come down. Um, Susan, uh, I'm going to switch, switch this, down once or twice switch this again one more time okay. about this. Okay. If you were a juror, say you were this thing. I'm guilty. This way. I'm guilty. If you heard this story and I'm, you're sitting I'm, in a juror's I'm, chair, I'm, I'm, I'm you're guilty. guilty. What, what are you guilty of? No, if you're a jury and you heard all this story that you've told us about these two incidents, it's, it's, what would it, what are you guilty of? It's it's the thing is it's too plausible, improbable. Imp yes, too improbable. Um, you know, uh, once, you know. So why don't why don't one, one, why don't you one, why don't one, you tell one, me one what, time, what what one time the is, one time is plausible the second time is not so why don't why don't we just clear the air okay get out everything that is out of the way that's blocking this okay I want you to think back and take responsibility about what really happened well that's that's no no no, no not not the not the version that you're telling me that relieves you of all any I, I any guilt. That that's why that's why this whole thing does not seem at all. Do you, know, do you know what people do sometimes in their in their own minds? They make themselves believe that something else happened because they can't believe that under whatever situation and what under stress, whatever obstacle was in the way at that moment, that they would actually do what they did. And so that, they have that, to rationalize it that, in their mind. That's exactly where I am at. Right. You have to rationalize it in your mind. Why or how could have that possibly happened? And then you change the reality. But what I want you to do is I want you to go back and I want you to tell me what really did happen. No, I have. Okay. I have. With, with Steve, what really did happen? I have told you. I can't. I cannot. I cannot. Log I cannot logically believe what happened in either case. It doesn't make any sense to it me. Doesn't make any sense to you, it, and it, it doesn't. It, 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 but it's, you're saying it wouldn't make any sense to a juror here it, in this I, either. It, it, so it, if I charged you with murder. Murder I, on two counts. I would you, convict myself. You would convict yourself. Yes. I would. I Without would, a doubt, you would say beyond a reasonable doubt she murdered these people. I would. I would probably say yes. I would probably say yes. It does not make any sense to me what happened for two incidents that are so similar to happen to me within a couple of years. I cannot believe it. And that is the main reason Susan, I did not say anything to start right. with. I know. I know. Did you cause the death of Stephen? Did, did I pull the trigger? No. I, ca I caused I caused his death because he was afraid that I was going to turn him into the police for robbery. By threatening to, you mean I, by I, threatening I, to turn him in, I, you caused I, his I, death. I, I told him that I had no intentions of turning him in. And so he was so desperate and, to kill himself he, that he, he shot five he, times. He, he was not. He was. He was not trying to kill himself. He was trying not to go back to prison. He could not stand being in prison. He was in prison for well, right. So, he, so he took the decision to kill himself, right? Yes. Rather than go to prison. Yes. I looked at his record. He hadn't been in there since 2002, so it had been 10 years. Yes. I don't. I didn't know when it was. So it had been a long time. Yes. Was, um, but I've known him for at least five years. 
So we have the situation, yeah. improbable situation of somebody shooting themselves five times. Yes. And then you, somehow, you, you, and then you, you somehow will. getting drug out into the pig yard. Yes, that was that was a couple of days later. Right. And then we have the improbable situation of Robert magically appearing in the pig yard. Yes. After a month of absence, he just magically appears in the pig yes. yard. Yes. Yes. Barely holding on to the ends of his life. I. I and you chose I him would, over I, the pigs. I I would I would convict myself on both counts, but I am guilty of neither. I the impossibility of this happening to me twice within the last two years or whatever it's been since Steve. Um, did this? Um, the, um, it's just totally inconceivable to me that this could happen. And what happens when we find a third person? You will not find a third person. We won't find one, or is there you one that we can't you, find? You will not find. I had two incidents in the last two years. I have no idea how Robert got into the pen, absolutely none, absolutely no idea how he got into that pen. I do not know if he went into the pen voluntarily or somebody possibly put him into the pen because they heard me talking all of my stupid jokes, which I realize are more stupid every time I tell them. Right, especially after it actually happened, right? Yes. Uh, you know, the, um, you know, after it after it happened the first time, I didn't, you know, I didn't really think anything about it because um, uh, Steve had Steve had made up his own story about leaving because he could not handle the fact that. Beverly accepted a package from her dead husband, which he liked because George would buy him beer. Does she even have she any not. family that you know of other than where he was hanging out with Beverly and George? Ah, uh, I don't know. Did he talk about family? No. Kids, wives, ex-wives? He, he had an ex-wife. Did you know the name? No. Was there Oh Um Go ahead. Um, I think he had a daughter in a mental hospital. Oh really? Did he mention the first name of her? No. Well, I don't know. But all of a sudden, it just some, something some, some, remember. Some, something. Remember, I think that he had a daughter in a mental hospital. Um, I'm not positive. Oh wait, no. Um, no, I don't know. I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of James, who lives about the five mile marker. Mm. He has a he has a um, he has a sister. In a James hospital. on West Evans. Yes, he he has a he has a sister in a mental hospital. Did Pond know Stephen? Um. Yeah, he probably knew him. They were living there at the same time, right? No, Steve never lived there. Steve. But I mean, Steve came and went when yes, Pond was yes. there. Yes, they, they, they may have met, but Pond, Pond would come uh, home late at night, and he would leave early in the morning. I hardly ever saw him. He was the best tenant of all. First of the month, he, there was a bucket at the bottom of the stairs, and he would leave a check there. Right. And um, 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 I didn't know... Um, uh, I didn't know much about him either. I know that he made um, little bird toys, and he worked at a couple different restaurants as a bus boy or 
whatever. But uh, no, he was he was so still so, so, so you still have the, that gun that Stephen had. Yes. Was it your gun or his gun? Mine. So how did he end up getting a hold of it? It was in my bed. Okay. So he went and into your bed bedroom. He went in, into my. It, he went into the room where Brady is now. Mm -hmm. He went in there. I I went in there with him. Mm -hmm. And you know he told me that um, uh, he wanted to leave. He couldn't stand Beverly anymore. He'd been going on for a couple of three weeks at least, um, screaming at me about Beverly betraying George's memory or what he what he perceived to be George's memory um, because she went ahead and accepted this package addressed to him. And I tried to explain to him that, you know, it doesn't matter who the package is addressed to because George had the account, or I believed that George had the account at Sears. I'm pretty sure that's where it was from. So... Beverly ordered something. I don't know what it was. And I think it was from Sears. And she accepted the package. And the package was addressed to George. And that made Steve go crazy. He could not accept that. George bought him beer. She would never buy him beer. It was totally wrong for him to be drinking beer at all. Uh, so when he needed... Um, some beer he would rob from her or rob someone else. Right. So I didn't. I didn't really think at any. So time. he wasn't completely an honest person. I he was to totally dishonest, but he was not. He was not a real burglar. He was. He would go into someone's house and look for enough money or some little thing that he could sell for enough to buy a beer, or a, a half a case of beer. So, so he got your gun. I, I still believe he did. I, I don't know that he did or not. The only thing that... I mean, the gun that he had at that time. That he, oh, yes. He got he, it. He, 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 knew, he knew where it was in, in my bedroom when his I. Uh, I'm talking with him, and he went ahead and uh, said, I need some money. I'm leaving. I can't stand Beverly anymore. Give me $100. You know, I'll give you my food stamp card, which is another stupid thing, but he didn't even have any money on it. Um, did you use it? There was, there was $30 on it or something. So you did use his food stamp yeah. card? I took the I took the I had already given him the hundred dollars. He had given me the food stamp card. We went into my room and I confronted him. I'm okay, you're you're leaving here. You know. I had a pistol here and I had a rifle over here and they're gone and nothing else was taken. I think it was you. Did you take these? And if you did, you know, who did you sell them to? So I could try to get them back. He got all upset. And he said, I'm not going back to jail again. Or back to prison again. And he reached over and grabbed my little 22 pistol. Just a little bitty thing. And where was that at exactly? It, it was on my bed. Okay. So... Um, when when he reached down and grabbed that and it was hidden, it wasn't you know, in plain sight. Um, he, he he knew where it was because he to my he to my knowledge had systematically gone through my place looking for stuff. Like I say, I you okay. you, you walk you walk in this room and there's no table, mm -hmm. you miss it. Absolutely. Okay, you walk in here and there's two chairs instead of three. You don't necessarily miss the third chair, right? Mm -hmm. 
And so I, I go in my room, and I don't look under my pillow. I don't look behind the shower. Every time, every time I walk in the room. So obviously, you had plenty of evidence to suggest that he had been into your stuff and stealing I, your I, things. I, but, I, and, and so when you confronted him, he he got angry, and he grabbed your gun yes. that was on your bed. It was. And then that's was, that's when you had the. Yeah. Then he he said, "I'm not going to go to prison." I'm not for going this. back to prison. And I grabbed his arm, and he fired once. He ran out the door. He went around into the um, mm -hmm. area there, okay, on the other side of the wall. He went, to, he, he went in there. I followed immediately. Uh, I was only two steps behind him. He got in there. I managed to grab him again. And there was no place really to move. And I'm holding on to his arm. And we're struggling. I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't get the gun. I, I guess I really didn't try too much to get the gun. But I was trying to get, I was trying to get his arm away. I guess I really didn't try to take the gun out of his hand. Mm -hmm. I remember holding his arm and him firing the stupid thing until it was empty. And then he dropped. So as like a so, right, so he had this gun, and he had it in his hand. Obviously, clenched, fighting, really, really tight, and yes. obviously it was a trying scene. His hands were probably sweating. Um, hands were all over it. You'll you'll definitely find. What am I going to find um, on it? DNA on the gun, I guess. Of. Of him. Of Stephen's yes. DNA. Yes. And. Well, mine, of course. In prints, maybe? Yes. Have you used that gun since then? I do remember reloading it. Did you? Have you shot it since then? I don't think I have. How long have you had that gun? Oh, long, 20 years. 20 years? Yeah, I bought that, and I bought that, and I had it in my pocket right. when I was down in Los Angeles. What brand is it, do you know? No idea. It's just a little bitty thing. It's a revolver, right? Five shot revolver. Five shot revolver. And your rifle, do you know what brand that is? No. Just a twenty two semi auto? Yes. It's got a little little um holder underneath the barrel that mm -hmm. you put the bullets in. And I think it holds about fifteen rounds. So you have two guys, both bad situations. Both of them you've used the Oregon Trail card after they died. Yeah. Knowing they were dead. Yeah. And both of them, I you uh, like I said, allowed I, the pigs to devour. Yeah. I. And both of yeah. them, you tried to. Conceal on to your property. Yes. I honestly, I would convict myself. It, it seems too impro improbable mm -hmm. to have happened that way. What's the mo What's the most probable scenario? If If you were thinking of in my shoes or some or a juror's shoes. What's the most probable scenario that you would be thinking what really happened? For me to convict you, I'd have to think of something else, wouldn't I? I'd have to think something else happened than whether what than what you're telling me. I have no idea how Robert got out into that pen. Okay, I know yeah, that. I know that. I know that. I'm saying, I'm saying, put and yourself in a juror's I, spot, I, and and what would you think a juror would believe? Other than you're guilty, what do you think a juror would believe? There has to be a scenario that the juror believes. 
Do you think a jury would believe you shot him and then took him out to the pigs? You said they would convict you, right? Well, that's the thing. I mean, it didn't happen that way. I know, but for a jury to convict you, they'd have to think something happened a certain way, wouldn't they? Yes. Right. So is that what you think a jury would think to convict you? You said if I was a juror, I would convict me. Yes. So you think a juror would think you shot Robert and put him into the pen? But... No, I'm saying that's what a juror would think. Yes. And you're telling me that a juror, based on everything that we're saying, would think that you shot Stephen. Yes. And put him out there. But... So... That's... So what you're saying is you just won the reverse lottery. Yes. Big time. $500 million. Backwards. Backwards. So you're saying the scenario that you're telling us... It's impossible. It's like impossible. It's impossible, but it happened. One in... To win the lottery is like one in 500 million or whatever it is. Something. It's... For this to have happened twice... It's impossible, but it happened. Right. Well, you know, the thing is sometimes things intentionally happen. Like sometimes people, truly evil people, would plan something to happen. I don't think you're a truly evil person. I don't think that I am either. No. I'm always trying to help people. Right. But sometimes people, and sometimes it comes to the same person, have things that happen to them that put them in circumstances that they make decisions that they have, because it's happening at that moment, have little control of. They have no control of what's going on and it just happens and then they have to deal with it. I did not have any kind of a panic attack. I had a panic attack just a little extent while I was fighting with Steve. That was, you know, that was hard. I'd say for you to fight with somebody that's got a gun in their hand, you're a very brave person. I liked him. He was a very good friend of mine. I would fear, fear, fear that I wouldn't get shot trying to wrestle a gun out of him. He was a very good friend of mine and like I was trying to say before, a good part of the reason my property looks the way it does is because of Steve. He would come down once or twice a month. I would buy him a 12-pack and he would go out and just rake leaves and cut brush and trim trees. He was a very good friend. A very good friend. I'd known him for a little... So that one was much more difficult than dealing with Robert. I knew him for at least five years and he was a very good friend. So that dealing with that one must have been much harder than dealing with Robert. Yes. Because it was a good friend. Robert was a guy that I knew. I didn't know him. What I don't understand, Susan, is... Listen, I know that you weren't good friends with Robert, but what I don't understand is if you were such good friends with Stephen, why would you let him be devoured by the pigs? Why would you do that? If you're such good friends with him, why would you do that? The stupid thing is that I had been joking about this for a long time. I don't know how it started, but I had been joking about feeding people to pigs for a long time. Right. And then when this happened to Steve, and he had 
supplied me with his alibi that, you know, he was, uh, he wanted me to, I had already given him the $100. Mm -hmm. I took that out of his pocket after he was dead. Right. I already had his food stamp card in my pocket when this all started. So now you had the hundred dollars on the food stamp. I had the hundred dollars and the thirty dollars on the food stamp card. Okay, so Be Beverly. So how Beverly. did he get to the pigs? I mean, you're telling me he's a good friend, but he's, he he's, still went to the pigs. He he was in the area of the pigs, and I had absolutely no idea what the hell to do. And a couple hours later, the pigs had come in through that one door. And uh, they were doing their thing. And you and, decided and not I to just, try to stop I, it. I, yes, I just said, you know, I guess, you know, this is what's going to happen. I, I went up a few days later and I told Beverly um, that, um, I, I told Beverly the story that Steve was. Um, Leaving, leaving, which was, which was why he had me come down, come up, why why he had me come up, and get him. I went up to Beverly's place. I got him. He was walking down the, walking down the road. I didn't go all the. I, I didn't go on Beverly's property. He was walking down the road. So I, uh, uh, he called me. And told me what he wanted to do, and I told him he was stupid. And I finally agreed, and I got in my car, and I drove up, and I met him on the road. Um, he was one or two curves down the road from her driveway. I picked him up. We went back to my place. He said what he wanted to do again. Right, and, and that's when all and, that happened. And, and then, then I confronted him right. about the the, 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 pin, the, pis, the pistol and, and the rifle. Do you think I believe your story? No. Do you think Detective Henderson believes your story? No. Do you think... Uh, I don't believe my story. You don't believe it either? No. It's too stupid. It's too stupid. I don't. I don't believe hardly any of it. Okay. It's. I'm gonna leave. Okay. It, it, it's, I'm gonna leave right now, and, and I'm, I'm gonna come back in, or have Detective Henderson come back in. But I want you to think about everything that's gone on right now. I, I, okay. It it, and, it is. It's too stupid for me myself to believe. And I don't want to. I don't want to keep berating you and 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 I don't want to keep accusing you okay but I want you to to think about what is the right thing to do I, and I, I, and I, I just I, I, did, you don't need to say anything right now okay no I want to I, I the, when this happened the second time I could not believe it absolutely could not believe it. This has happened to me a second time. You know, I've got my pigs out here devouring somebody on my property. This is impossible. So I left him there for a couple of days and I picked up what I thought was all of him and put him in a couple of plastic bags right. and I took, took it inside and Wait, I, let, me, I, let, me, I, let me tell I, you something, because I've I, already heard this story. I know. And I've heard I, it about three or four times. I, but It's not changing. I, I, could, exactly. I, could not, I could not believe it let, let me tell you why that story doesn't change. Because that parts of the story are true. All those things are true. He was in that pen. He was getting devoured by the pigs. He picked up those parts. He put them away. All those parts of the story are true. But why the, the only parts of the story how it got there. Yeah. And that's those, the and those fuzzy parts of the story 
I, ha- I don't know. Those are the parts that you're either purposely not telling us because you don't want to admit what actually happened. I, that you I, were I, that I, you were actually something could happen to cause you to lose control and do something. You don't. Those are the parts you don't want to tell. Those are the fuzzy little areas. Everything else is easy to tell. Those are easy to tell because you've already told us those things, well, and that, they're true. If, 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 if you believe 90% of the story, why can't you believe the other 10 that I because, did not know how we got there? Because that's the best lies are by not by telling the truth about everything except for those crucial parts of the story that have responsibility. I don't I think, know. I, I mean, don't here know you how. are, you're a, you're a I don't, I'm not sure how old you are, but I'm, I know... I'm, I'm 65. You, right, you're in I Vietnam. Am, uh, I am you're, 65. I try to take care of a lot of people. Right, you're a very responsible I'm, person, I'm, aren't you? I'm very responsible. I'm very logical. And this doesn't make any sense to me. Right. So I'm. It I'm, doesn't. It does, right. I'm, I'm saying it, this doesn't make any sense to me. Where's the responsibility in this? If you're leaving this part out, I don't know how we got there. The biggest things in your life. You've been responsible all your life. You've got your own property out there. You're taking care of everything. You're taking care of everybody. That you help people. Yes. You're responsible. But the biggest two things that have happened, you're not taking responsibility for. Now, that's what I want you to think about. I'll be back. How can I go with you? Where do you need to go? Go to the bathroom again. Okay, I'll get somebody. Okay. I, uh, thank you for almost straightening that thing. Okay. Uh, I... I'm telling you this, and I'm not believing it myself. I don't know how he got there, why he would go in there. Okay, I, I'll be do, back. I, I don't know why anyone would put him in there. I'll be back. Oh, I don't know why, I should say, but I don't know. I, 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 if, if somebody else, and there are a lot of other people that... Have heard, have heard me, you know, do okay. this. You ready to go to the bathroom? Yeah, I, 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 I have told my stupid joke to a lot of people. I cannot walk. So I'm Jen, are you hungry? I brought a couple sandwiches for lunch. Like a peanut no. butter and jelly sandwich or no, some nuts not, or anything. No, I'm not. I like nuts. Go down the elevator. Uh, I got drum mix. Uh, You like Fritos? I had a little bag of Fritos. Um, yeah. Or Cool Ranch Doritos, maybe? Or? Oh, probably. I, I like them all too much. That's why I'm so fat. <laughs> I shouldn't be eating the nuts either. Well, uh, that's, that's all I got. That was no, that's, that, that's fine.
Rest in the legs. Yeah. Feeling all right? My knees were hurting a little bit from just, from just sitting. Just sitting here. I yeah. Very seldom sit. I'm always up doing something. Always busy. Yes. I try to be. When it's cold, I watch an awful lot of television, unfortunately, which is yeah. not much good. Do you have family around here? No. Where's your family? Where are you from? Um, San Francisco area. Oh, you told me that. That's right. Uh, no. The Bay Area. Yeah. Have um, you lived there for how long? Until um, I was 18. Oh, okay. Um, <coughs> I, um, I tried looking for my brother. I don't know where he's at. He was in the military. Um, the last time that I knew where he was was in South Dakota. How long ago was that? A long time, 10 years or more. Um, the la- that was the last place that I knew where he was. Um, and the only reason the government would tell me where he was was if I needed a kidney transplant from him or something. So completely lost touch with him. Um, he's married, has a couple kids. Um, I have a sister. Um, I'm, she had uh, Down syndrome. Um, I'm recently sure that she has died. You don't know for sure? I don't know for sure. She was in a, a foster home in um, Santa Rosa area. And uh, um, she was doing really good. She um, uh, my mother could not uh, accept the fact that she had Down syndrome. Mm-hmm. So uh, my mother uh, had to get rid of my sister. Where's your mom at? Hi. How long ago? Years. So my father also. So your mom got rid of your sister? Yep. Is that hard for you to talk about? Like yep. just Yep. Like I mean are you angry at your mom for doing that or No, I I, I you know, I understand. I understand she could she could handle it. Would you have taken care of her? Uh, I imagine I would have if I had the chance, but that was way before I was of age. I was, I was, like, that was way before I was of age to yeah. consider the possibility. But, uh, because she had Down syndrome, I'm, um, fairly certain that she has died by now. Because most, uh, most of it would be 40 or something. Yeah. And, um, uh, she would be, like, 56 or something by now. I think it was... I think it was nine years between the two of us. So, for her condition, I think she's probably gone. Um, yeah. So I heard you talking to Chris earlier about that you only had his name Susan Monica for a while. Yes. What's your real name? Not saying. Okay. Not saying. Just don't want to talk about it? No. Too, too difficult. Okay. There's probably two or three people in the valley, no, and that's too many for me. Can I ask, is it just to get away from a past no. a long time ago? No. No. Okay. No, I wasn't. I wasn't a mass murderer before. Or no, I don't mean like that. I just mean like family, whatever. No. You know, just things. No. Um, so obviously you were young. Yes. Uh, my uh, my father knew that I had changed my name. My mother had already been dead. Um, my uh, aunt and uncle and my well my my two aunts. And my two aunts, my uncle, my brother, all knew. But, uh, okay, I'll talk about it. Okay. All right. I 
were just curious, but I want to ask about it. Um, tomorrow's a big day. It's a big day for everybody. Um, it's a big day for you. Maybe not by choice. Yes. But um, the... I am staying here tonight, I guess. The wheels are going in motion now at full speed. Yes. And it's not something that can be slowed down. Yes. Else, you know what I mean? Yes. So, um, as things start to progress tomorrow, and, you know, because it's nighttime and everything, I'm, I don't know how much they're going to get done, obviously. Um, there are people up there yes. right now. Yes. Um, so, like I said, I don't know how much they're going to get done, but starting probably first thing in the morning, it's going to be getting pretty busy. Yes. And there's going to be a lot of specialists and people here working on this, yes. a lot of detectives. Yeah. You know, obviously, what you told us today yes. is very important for what happens tomorrow. Right. You know, as we start looking at the, the things that you told us, and, you know, really analyzing things and, and moving forward tomorrow as things come up and we start to collect our evidence and start processing and doing the yeah. forensics and but and everything I'm that we're going to do, it's going to um, all add up. Um, all of it. But that's the thing. See, it doesn't add up to me. Okay, but when we do our investigations, and, but it and, all if, adds up. Okay. Every time. Okay. If Even if you left something out. Okay. It's going to add up for yeah. us. I, um, as I was saying when I went down to the bathroom, the only logical thing to me okay, was, we've already been through this. was that not, somebody I, might have I know that. Might I, know. Have I hear what you're saying. You're not listening to what I'm saying. Okay. But it Hang on a second. It, it, Wait, let okay. me finish because I'm going to finish with this, okay. okay? Okay. It's important for you to understand that... It's full speed ahead now. Yes. There is no turning back on right. this. Right. That's why what you told us and what we find are going to go like this yes. tomorrow and yes. mesh. Yes. And if something doesn't fit right, we'll know. It's yes. going to be obvious. Yes. So the things that you told us, we'll be able to corroborate all those things and you know, we'll, we'll be able to put the pieces of the puzzle together. And regardless of what you told us, we will find the truth. Yes. So if you did leave things out, or you lied about things like that, you need to think about that tonight. Because it needs to go like this. Yes. It needs to fit. It has to fit. Right. And If your end doesn't fit in what... what physical evidence says that doesn't lie, that's a problem. It, you don't it, want that to happen. It, that's the problem. It doesn't fit to me. It, right now, sitting here, I am thinking about what happened, and it doesn't fit to me. If, uh, did, uh, if Karen killed Robert... Put it in my pen. All right, Karen didn't kill yeah, Robert. I, I'm, so I, I, just, I, I, I'm just saying. Can stop talking about hypotheticals. Well, Susan, I, I, Susan I, I, stop, okay. please. We've been sitting here for a long time I now. Uh, I just want you to listen, okay? And I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna leave. All right. I, 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 Hang on a second. Let me finish because it, uh, we'll, we'll just go around and round, and I don't want to get into that with you. I know. The whole I want you to hear what I'm saying and hear the importance of it. Yes. If you hear anything, and remember something tonight, listen to this, okay? Everything has to line up and match with what we find tomorrow. Yes. That's how we check to see what's going on. Yes. You know, if we're if it comes down to us um, uh, digging up a skull, yes. And things don't make sense. We're like, well, wow, that's that's strange. You know, she just told us this yesterday. It's not lining up. You know, we're the ones that have to present this to the district attorney's office and say. This is what she told us. You know, she told the truth, or she didn't. Yes. This is what the physical evidence says. The physical evidence doesn't lie. Right. It tells its own story about what happened. And that, it doesn't have a, a memory or anything. It's there. You that, can't get rid of it. That is why... And it's overwhelming. I, that is why, I can say, it doesn't make sense to me. If, 
if somebody possibly... You think about what I said. I, 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 I know. You think about I'm what saying, I said. If, so, if somebody... It's important if, if, for you if somebody to, had killed... It's important killed for you to remember Robert, what you told us today. Into the pen. Okay, it's important for you to tell us they would, remember they what you told have, us today. They would have gone ahead tomorrow. and called you and said, hey, I saw a body in the in there. Can you nope, stand nope, up for me? Nope, nobody did that. To, so I can't see... I can't see how that Can you would, stand up for me? I can't see how that... I'm going to handcuff you. Oh, crap. Your hands got to go back far oh, crap. Uh, I'll put on two cuffs, okay? Okay. Uh, I, I, it, it doesn't make any sense to me how this came about. So I am going to take you over to the jail right now. Okay. Um, I guess my nuts stay here. Whatever. Um, I, I, I can't understand. Right. Okay, we, we've been through I this. Know, I know, And You need to think about what happened today and what you told us. It's... We can't turn back after this. I know. And Either I, you're on board or you're not. I, and I, if you continue to tell us things that are not going to match up to the physical evidence, that's going to be a problem for you. It is. I'm trying to help you. Help yourself by telling us the truth about all these things. Okay? Just think about that. It, Let's go. It, it doesn't make sense to me. 